Christmas is around the corner, yay! And I just had to start with that because I am excited for those who are excited. Hey there, and welcome to Tea Time, uh, Tea Time Show on Plus TV Africa. This is an entertainment analysis show that does it better than ever. Yes, we sip tea while we serve you the hottest news about mm -hmm. celebrities. We break down everything pertaining lifestyle. And when I say we, I'm referring to the non other delectable team, the ones who inspire to inspire, the ones who serve you the best boost, the ones that I get into my. I don't know. Sometimes I love them. Sometimes I hate them. <laughs> but we are an unseparable team, and that's another than Ifolu Ashike and Eniola Baby. Hey guys. Nice. Wagwan, Wagwan, Wagwan. How's it yeah. going? Christmas is around the. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Faye, you don't have to make it literal. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Christmas. Oh my God. Hey, yay. It's Friday. And, and guess what? Mm -hmm. what? It's on a Friday. Yeah. So it makes it even better. What, ha what we work? If it, I feel like it's, it's really sad. I wish it was on Saturday. So I yeah, I've been tonting Monday, Tuesday. Even mm -hmm. what? Taunt. Turned. Yeah. Okay, like lit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Like, like, oh, you just have to understand what, what you're no, saying. You know, it's a ton. No, because like, like, you know, I, I, I told my work, I said ton, like, I thought maybe was trying to say tormented in, like, a slang or something. I've been I wasn't really sure. Right. I used to say turn, like, you know. Uh -uh. Yeah, well, I've been popping. Mm. So, you know, Christmas is making it look like, yeah, it's a good year, but mm. we know how crazy 2020 yeah. has been, mm. but. At the same time, we're not going to let anything hold us back. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to yeah. keep True. shining. And mm. we're going to keep spending. Mm -hmm. uh, top that uh? top, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that and your life is the most Christmas ready. I know, right? Table. I was looking for you to say it. I was saying it on air You look That's like Santa. No, she doesn't. She looks like Santa. <laughs> you look like Santa. She looks like, she looks like um, no, you look like the mistress that Santa Claus wants Ooh, to. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough with the Christmas jokes. Guys, it's not Christmas yet, so we still have to bring all this energy on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. So, should we go straight into the topics? Yeah. Or, I don't, don't want to say anything. How was your day? Last, last yesterday, did you guys get up to anything specific? Okay, so I woke up feeling down. Down. Okay. Yeah, like I felt like, nah, I ain't feeling too good. But you know, there's certain things that just put you back on your feet, and one of those things just happened to me, and I just felt like, ah, mm. evil bodied man. Yeah. I'm a very strong guy. Yeah. So yeah. It's been crazy, but at the same time, yeah, we're still grinding and we're still out here. So yeah. my day was busy yesterday and today I'm still here. Same thing, but please, did you see the traffic yesterday? No traffic. No, I didn't see any traffic. Oh, okay. So was um Shango said okay. area. We don't, so we, we, don't, use, we use we PJs. Don't, we use we don't, we don't, no, 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 we, we don't know Lagos, okay. We, we, we don't no. we don't bowl we like that. Lagos. Okay. <laughs> We don't have plus five to get on traffic gear. Hey, God. Oh, you are falling your hand on this table like too many times. Don't mind it, Faye. Don't mind it, Faye. Black Friday. <laughs> Friday is us. <laughs> anyway, for me, I woke up feeling like I do not want to work today at Oh, like I, I feel pushed like it. We have break. Yeah, I pushed it to the last minute. If not, like I've actually been to get here on time. I was just like, whatever. I just don't want to do this. But now that I'm on the table, obviously feeling each other's energy, it's like okay, let's we can we can actually do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For, so first story of the day is Nollywood veteran Ikaria and Nwobi. The actress comes hard on people. Um, obsessed with the idea of making money while damning the consequences. Uh, Nollywood veteran Akira says that anyone who loves money so much without a care of whose ox is God is a child of Satan. Yes. The movie star made this known by her Instagram page yesterday, um, saying, and I quote, loving money to the point of clamoring for it without a care whose ox is God makes you the twin of Judas Iscariot and the offspring of Satan. Like, she was quite, you know, she even gave Bible verses as mm. well. And I, you'd be surprised, but actually, like, the Bible. And I already knew, like, both... Matthew both 6, yeah, yeah, I already knew both things. So, it, it was something quite, like. you know, accurate to her, mm -hmm. her, cool. her post, her mm. rant or whatever. But what, what are your thoughts on, on that, guys? Okay, so, okay, go on. <clears throat> okay. First of all, I would say this is deep. Which one is um, Satan's child and you just... But I get where she's coming from, but I, right. I don't think I would have used Satan's child. Mm. So I think she... She's a pastor, remember that. She's even a... Okay. Even the that ox, was like just ox, too what deep. Did she, how did she even say? Uh, that mean the it's God, it's mm -hmm. such a Bible, like mm -hmm. English. But I think she's just literally it, trying man. to say, um, you... I use that too. I'm a biblical you, you use what? And you're a biblical... Ox is God. Uh, you use... A, <laughs> If 
Ife is such a clown. Jesus. Can you imagine what Ife would be saying? That he would, he would if, the way Ife talks, so away uh -huh. from TV now, and then he would now say, Ox is God. Let me put some stuff on TV. Eh? But people that know me, they know that it's something I've Wait, my sister have known you for how many months now? 0906,005719. If you think if I would actually use such word or such, um, what's it now? You don't even know! A phrase. <laughs> yeah, if you think if I would use such a phrase. If you know, send us a message. Yeah, 0906,005719. Don't, don't waste your time, please. Don't worry, people will tell you now. Maybe you don't know me that well as much as I told yeah, you. Yeah, you know. right? For mm. over two years now, mm -hmm. I don't know you that well. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. Uh, no it's heavy talk. Uh, yeah, me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you guys making me look like I'm a bad guy, like no I'm problem, something no. really hellish? I would like to hear what you want to Duh. say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. So, go Thank ahead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I think she was literally trying to say, um, you um, doing anything for money tells a lot about your character. Mm. Like, uh, so I don't think I would have used Satan's child, but anyhow. So you, um, <laughs> still saying it, that, that was just too deep. So um, you just being this type of person that damning the consequences, no matter um, what you get, in wherever you are, no matter, no matter how you do it, it's a very terrible thing to me. And also, if you know this person is wrong, this, what this person is doing is wrong, and you're actually supporting them, just because of what it's going to give you. That just tells a lot about your character. I think that's where um, this actress is trying to come from, that mm. you just have to be a um, You doing anything for money tells a lot about your character. I think she just left it like that. Okay, well, okay. I don't... Uh... Okay, so to me, okay. integrity is key, right? Mm -hmm. So if um, I can't vouch for your integrity because I know you're probably being selfish about what you're getting from me. Okay. Like, I know I'm a bad guy, right? And then you're supporting me. Okay. I already, I already know the type of person you are. But look, it doesn't make you the child of the Satan. Look, mm. in life, we're, we're all about two things: mm. happiness and money, and maybe three things: and family, happiness, family, money. And those are the three major things that really matter in life, as far as I'm concerned. And um, to be honest, I don't care who's ox is God when I'm making my money. Do you understand? But it doesn't mean that I'm going to be the arm robber or I'm going to be the eye of the assassin or kidnapper or I'm going mm. to do something extremely stupid. But if I have to make certain very critical decisions just for my money to be complete, because in Yoruba they say, do you understand? Yes. I will definitely <laughs> do it. You see a lot of businessmen that look, they know that this will affect their brother's business, but they go ahead to do it. So depending on what decision you're making, as long as it is not negative, caring with Ox is God, this is not really none of your business. I think she's Ca stuck your about, people. Um, no, okay. I'm getting there. Hold okay. up. So, but I get where she's coming from. She now, she now went on to say that, you know, this person requires more re remunerations, mm -hmm. and then you're doing business with somebody you're like, I'm taking 10%. You, you, I don't care how much you make. If you make 100 million, just give me my 10%. But afterwards, you get greedy and then you now want to say, ah, no, my money is now 30%. You made so much money. 10% is not enough. That one is what integrity stands for. Do you get You have to be a man of your word. So if I give you my word and I tell you, okay, I, um, any, I need you to sell this bracelet for me. I don't care if you sell it 100 million. But just give me 10% of the money. Then when I now say that you sold it for 200 million and I'm like, ah, I want 30%. Do you mm. understand? Now you should be able to back, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Back your words. You know, that, the two things a man has is words and his, um, uh, I can't say this on TV, is words and his um, mm -hmm. testicles. Is he yes. You know, <laughs> it's, it, it's testicles. That's, that's English language. So, um, you have to stick to those two mm -hmm. things, your word and your testicle. Stand by them okay. with all diligence. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you wanted to say something, Tifa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just clarified it. Because I was going to say, um, you going after money and letting go of your principles and what you stand for, I think that's what she was really targeting. Yeah, she, she is definitely talking about principles. But I would argue that all, most of the successful people that I've known or have talked about their mm. attributes and characters, then they are all children of the devil because they don't they don't have the sentiments that she's asking for. Yeah. This is very very sentimental. I mean, there's a part where you say you know that they are evil. No, even that is, is still sentimental because honestly speaking, I will praise the person that I know is rubbish 
especially if I'm not like personal, I'll say what I need What's to say. Your yeah, if I'll, I'll say yeah. what I you think I liked all my bosses or I liked all my my the people that I'm like that's in charge of me. But I'm not gonna say you know I don't like you. Whatever. I'll say yes, I'm wonderful and great. That's lovely. Because man, at the end of Fantastic. the month, bang, bang, bang. and I'll take my <laughs> L and I'll go yeah. and I'll do what I need to do. If I know that somebody's really difficult, or if I know. Like, I made a post, I think, day before yesterday, that I don't keep grudges. I literally don't know how to keep grudges. But okay. I, mm. I, I like to know who I'm dealing with, and then I'll act accordingly. So, for me, I'm, I will fit in that category of praising you, quote-unquote. Because I know who you are, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm interacting with that wisely, at least to the best of my ability. But I'll still say what I need to say to get what I need to get, if that makes but sense. But guess what? Period. Some people can be some type of way to some people, and they're not that type of way to me. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, if I know that you are, uh, this person is very, very strict or this person is uh, uh behind to a whole lot okay. of other people but to me you are, a, you are like one of the realest i've ever known it mm. won't stop me from praising you for being good to me i don't care how you treat me yeah and so i don't think it's every time your opinion is needed like yeah. I, you meet bad people every day but it's not your place to Talk, tell them that they're bad. How am I dealing with this bad person? If it's like, I'm just going to get a package from this Someone person. I get my package and I'll bad. tell you you okay. look nice or whatever and I'll go home. It really depends on the extremity. Yes, I'm not mm -hmm. going to pretend like as if no, there isn't levels to it. And if you okay. say ox is God, I don't think you can make that in a... You can't put balance to that. Ox, in, ox being God is that you, are, you know you are directly hurting someone. And for me, if it's not built on sentiment, because if it's that maybe we, both of us are fighting for something, and I, I'm going to go for it. I don't need to hurt your feelings, but it's maybe like we'll be fine. Like but there are some things, like fraud, for example. It's yeah. a good example of, I know that this I am doing is just ill and, like, you know, harsh or whatever. So, in that kind no, of case, yes, you're the yeah. child of the yes. Satan. Popular Instagram influencer, <laughs> Cindy Ednott, has called a whisk kid the audacity for having his hands in getting his the audacity mm -hmm. fair. Uh -huh. Tunde. Anyway, for, <laughs> whiskey, for basically calling out whiskey for getting his hands in an Instagram account, that his Instagram account that was mm -hmm. suspended. You know how we do it here. We like to follow up with the story. Okay. The singer turned blogger whose Instagram page was suspended some hours, like few days, few hours ago from yesterday, opened a new page to threaten um, has, and has threatened to call out everyone who reported this page obviously as if i mentioned yesterday um this his account was not was taken out because he didn't follow some guidelines mm -hmm. anyway he wrote and i quote calling some haters tomorrow on my live who reported my account at 3 p.m i go notified today that my account has i got notified today or i got notified i think that's what i'm trying to say I got notified today that my account has been disabled. Well, nothing surprises me a lot. I see Whiskey's handwork and some failed bloggers. Who has finally seen my downfall? First off, let me go on. Because when you say, who have finally seen my downfall, that's, you even think so little of yourself. So why do you think we should think so much of you? Because, man, yeah, we all fall and we all rise. It's how you rise that actually makes you who you are. It's not your failure. It's not your falling. So the fact well, that you are... The fall was shut down, Sha. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's Now, don't say that they have finally seen my downfall. But he saw, they saw the no, downfall, they really, though. It's not, yeah, but he it? gave up on himself, too. The fact that I'm falling doesn't mean you have seen my down follow. But I bet you see somebody that fell down and did front flip. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you do front yeah. flip and you get back yeah, up. Yeah, but let's not like, act like a him losing that account is not a downfall. Yeah. It is. And then um, another thing. Sorry, I have to bring this in. This is um, another conspiracy theory. Now, I feel like it's called going to call out some people because we all want to hear what he has to say about whiskey. We want to hear what he has to say about some field bloggers. <coughs> and it's going to make some people go and follow this is new account. Just so, to make sure yeah, that, that, they're, make sure that they are updated. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So it's like a clickbait thing. So I'm not even going to give him that um, pleasure. But yes. Tony so, not <clears throat> has the clout. He's, I mean, I, I don't think he doesn't have genuine followers. He did. He does. Well, so he, he can't. He can start again. <clears throat> and one of the reasons why... But he has started again. He yeah. he can't. He well, has... I mean, what, what, what is... No, I'm not by, not by opening an account. <clears throat> by having a leading, you know, prominent Instagram account that people yeah. go to for information. That's what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's capable of doing it again. Because it, it yeah. has... Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about your personality and your traits. Are you consistent? I'm not consistent with social media. I know that I'm not doing what Tunde Ednott is doing sure. to, you know, keep mm -hmm. that kind of account running and stuff. So... He, he's done it before, so it is possible for him to do it again. And I think he knows the tricks of social media. Um, but does that mean that 
that he's completely lying. I don't know if it's mm. if I if I if I want to believe. Why would you skid even pay attention? Thank to you. Tundi that was I wanted to like, bring up right yeah. now. Why are you caught? Huh? Tundi I'm sorry. Not whiskey. Yes, yes, I don't mm. think whiskey will concern uh, himself in making sure. Um, to, they, okay, maybe not that. Mm, but are you saying that these celebrities don't care about what Tunde Edmonds says? They do. They do. Well, I don't not think not they whiskey. do. Whiskey. Just want to I'm go that. What have you seen on whiskey on Tunde Edmonds that you have I don't. I don't follow Tunde Edmonds. And this whiskey, he calling out whiskey that's been going on for a long time. Who follows Tunde Edmonds? I don't know. The only thing I know about Tunde Edmonds is I'm catching cold. Oh my gosh! And Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. What was that? What? But don't lie, it was a, it was a banger that it, time. It, it, I actually jammed to it, but now I listen wait, to it. What time? What time? What, what, what are what, you talking one? about? What? 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 Yeah, excuse us. What did you say? You said. Huh? I which song was the banger? Jingle, Jingle Bell or? Uh, no, Catching Cold. Uh, I mean, sorry. Okay. Sorry, Catching Cold. Oh my. Why did it all so scared? Like, I was going to exit you from this premises. <laughs> yeah. Six hundred years. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Like, I was said, confused. Like, you've been uh, exiled. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not that deep. Jingle Bell. I said the Jingle Bell just released it to us. No, no Catchy oh, Cool no, was sorry. a banger. And that was his only good moment, if you mm -hmm. ask me. Yeah, absolutely. You understand? Yeah, absolutely. That was his yeah. only good musical mm -hmm. moment. He did better the, as a blogger than as a musician. Yeah. Yeah. Tunde Ed not needs to admit that. Mm -hmm. um, he, so, he, sometimes I always get confused what a hater is. Because it's such a relative thing, right? If I'm doing something bad, I'm selling drugs, for example. And that's what I used to feed my family. Mm. I use it to feed. Like, it's my thing, right? And you go report me. You're a hater. Right? So, like, are you really a hater? Do you know what that because sound just reminds That just reminds me of B.I.G. It was all a dream. I used to dream what up magazine. Young. Talk about paper and have a D up in the limousine. Yeah. And get pictures on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Every Saturday, rappers mm. more Mr. Mm. Hey. You guys don't know that song. Mm. The intro of that song is all the people that called the police on me when I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. Mm. You know, guys don't know. Oh wow. Okay, I'm very old on this table. No, I mean I know I know some I don't know the like lyrics. I don't know like this. I don't know why he does this all the time. Oh, I'm so They're sorry. going to drag us now that we don't know Big's verse and all of that. I'm well. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um. So yeah, it's things like that that you know haters are always very like. Um, relative, like you, you can call me a hater, but my, I stand for what I stand for. Um, so I think with him, it's, it's a bit confusing. Like, is it is it that you think that they don't have a right to do what they did? Like, are you saying that you don't deserve for your account to be taken down? Yeah. Did you or did you not break the Instagram guidelines? Like, talk to us. I, I, I mean, really want to know what you're saying. It's too much and and today, Instagram but... goes to investigate and they see and that. They okay, see they're it. Just yeah. Yeah. They're I actually take expected it too much from um, today. Not sorry. I I thought like it we is. just. Yeah, Yes, I expected oh, like wow. okay, how they um closed the uh, closed his account right now. It will reflect that okay, what <laughs> did I do? I think yeah, I was expecting too much from him. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. I was just expecting yeah, him to sure. like apologize, like okay, I was wrong. And for he coming out called whiskey, I was like, guy failed oh. bloggers. Your expectation oh. was it was all a dream. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I right. think I I I have to admits that I don't expect anything from him. I have never expected anything from him. Apart I don't think code. he's capable of being that introspective. The way he was really confident at being so irrational mm -hmm. and toxic. You know, thinking everybody's a hater. Yeah, like he really thinks, like I always say, he really thinks it's the best thing after fried rice or whatever he likes. I don't know, plantain. He really just feels like, you know, he's... No, I don't like, like Samala. Mm, that type of yeah, person. and who argue that Malai is, is nicer bet, than Poundage. I'm not those kind of people. You know them. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I think he's always had that, that he's not, he's, he's, he definitely lacks that, um, um, what's it called, uh, emotional awareness, or that does he even consider other people and what he, his impact is having on other mm -hmm. people, rather than saying, why is this person saying what they're saying? He'll say, oh, this one is failed, mm -hmm. this one is jealous, yeah, yeah, this one, he's just really And then, I don't insecure. know who today had not is in the scheme of things to call somebody failed. Mm. You're a failed musician, you're a failed blogger, yeah. and you still feel the need to call somebody failed. Thank you. Yeah. Look into the mirror. Rough. Like, remove the peg from your eye before you remove the log from somebody okay, else. Yeah, it's okay. We turned it. No, let's see time go on a quick break, but we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.